Hey everybody, I am Rora Alexander and I'm just coming at you with to help you celebrate Ramona's 60 days to 60 years old. And she has asked me to do a quick little video about sleep and I figured, well, right now is kind of the perfect time. It is about seven o'clock here in Vancouver and my house is pretty much in what I call nighttime mode. So normally, I'll just give you a quick idea of what the room normally looks like so normally i have lots of you know these white like leds on everywhere and it's a very bright house i have more over there i got lights everywhere but what happens is around 7 p.m at night i like to prioritize my sleep so what i do is i switch to basically very low lights and most of my light bulbs are either one of two kinds they're either incandescent bulbs such as in my turkish lamp back there or I also have a Himalayan rock lamp, or I use special bedtime bulbs. Basically, you want to be using bulbs that are low in what's called the blue and the green spectrum. So basically, what you do not want to be using is really bright, um, you know, your bright LEDs and CFLs and stuff like that. So that's actually what's inside that light over there. It's actually a special bulb called the bedtime bulb bulb now if you can't get one of those you can order them on amazon by the way but if you can't get one one of the best things you can do is just use old school incandescent bulbs now short of that the other thing that you're going to want to do and believe me it's actually quite a bit darker in here than the camera the camera actually makes it look pretty bright now even these hall lights over here are bedtime bulbs so that's a bedtime bulb up in that one there and even in the washroom I even have a lamp that I put in there. So when you're walking in, if you gotta use the washroom at night, uh, you're not turning on a bright CFL and is you know getting in your eyes. So one of the best things you could do, like I said, is basically try to have your lights very low. Now, if you have blue blocking glasses, those are also really good to have as well. So a few tips that I always tell everybody are number one, there's you know three things that you can really control when it comes to making sure that you're ready for sleep. The first one is your light exposure. Making sure that you know, you're know you either making sure the lights are down or using special bulbs or at least incandescent bulbs. Worst case, blue blocking glasses, still the lights down low though. Because even the brightness, and it's not even necessarily the blue and the green, 100%, that's not 100% of the story, even the brightness can affect you. The second thing you wanna do is you try, you wanna try to not eat about two to three hours before bed. Um, eating food can just basically sort of um, delay the onset of melatonin because your body's in a digestion mode, so it's not in a sleep mode, so that's no good. And the third thing is doing any sort of really hardcore or intense exercise. Now saying that, it is actually nice to do some meditation, some stretching, or some really light like restorative or ahina or yin yoga, something like that before you go to sleep, even a little bit of progressive, um, progressive, what do they call it? Progressive muscle relaxation, basically where you start from your toes, you work your way up and you squeeze a muscle group and then you relax it and then you move on to the next group. So you go like through your toes, your feet, your calves, your legs, work your way up. But what you don't want to be doing is a bunch of like CrossFit or spin classes and all that a couple hours before you sleep because why? Again, your body um, needs to be cooler. What happens is as you get tired and as the nighttime comes, your body temperature starts to drop, which is good. But when you're doing a bunch of intense exercise, you raise your body temperature up. Now, people will say, well, I have to exercise at night. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock is when I exercise. What can I do? Well, then, that, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you do something to cool your body down quite quickly. So I usually suggest something like um, doing some box breathing or some really good focused breathing after your workout. And once you get home, having not a, not necessarily cold, but a cool or lukewarm shower, something cool, maybe a cool rinse down just to help bring your body temperature down that little bit quicker. So those are a few hacks. So it's basically light, what you put in your mouth, and how you exercise. You start you know, prioritizing your sleep about three hours before you wanna to go to sleep, you're gonna find your sleep is a lot better. So from Ramona Berganza, 60 and 60. And by the way, happy uh, birthday coming up, Ramona, very soon. And enjoy your uh, trips, and I will see you back here in Vancouver very soon.